Welcome to Razekus video blog. This is a mystery teardown. We will discover here random electronic devices, old and new, analogic and digital, vacuum tubes and solid state devices. We will un try to understand them and uh, see what make them tick. We will look at the way things were done way back when they were at the top of their pyramid of usage and trends. But before we dive into the mystery, please let me tell you about our sponsor, which is my family and my friends and you. Yes, you. Thank you for this. And if you are not subscribed, please do so. It helps the channel grow and fill my heart with joy. With all of that said, let's dive into the mystery. The mystery is about to be revealed. The device of today, Teardown, is... Ta-da! A so-called transistor radio. It's not from way back when or then. It's from this year, a month ago. For us, important is this. What's inside it? What makes it tick? What we will find? It feels like, I don't know, a few grams, maybe the speaker and the plastic uh, having some weight here. The speaker, if we try to balance it on a finger, you know, like we were doing when we were kids with trying to balance the knife. Yeah, so the speaker is the heaviest part of this. We'll enter here. Oh, we have two screws. This is, uh, what do you say? What do you believe? Are the screws inserts or just tappers? Self-tappers. We are back. We have on the screen the, the findings of the ICs. I will start because it's here already with the audio amplifier uh, integrated circuit. It's made by Incom Technology. It has the number 8002. And this is the pin layout. It is described as an audio amplifier with this. We have everything. We have the data sheet. So the A2 is an audio power amplifier designed for demanding application in low power portable system. It's capable of delivering three watts continuous average power into three ohm BTL. So yeah, with less than 10% distortion, THD, uh, since uh, it has a hi-fi stick on the speaker for sure. Yeah, the it does not require output coupling capacitor or boot sub capacitor, it rather a delay mobile power and blah blah blah. blah. Mm, yeah, so we have the schematic for that. So it has an input one, two, three resistors, one, two decoupling capacitor, and one separating or coupling capacitor for the audio signal coming from the source. That's it. That's it, guys. Simple as good morning. That's the magic of ICs, the magic of electronic, modern electronic devices, modern integrated circuits have provided us with a lot, a lot of, lot of miniaturization and small and powerful devices. This not long ago will be really a complicated device made from individual transistors. Oh, it will be complicated with valves. For the simplest, simplest class A, it will be like the Fender uh, 5F1 uh, <laughs> circuit uh, at the output of the of the radio. So yeah, 
that's a progress. Imagine that uh, cube of Fender 5F1 in uh, this small IC. I don't know why I said Fender 5F1 because it was not a hi-fi amplifier and uh, it, it's tube. So we have a comparison. Here is the, the, the Fender 5 uh, uh, that I was talking about. Yeah, the, the, the amplifier, it looks like that. And it has like this uh, beautiful stuff. Uh, and maybe we can see the circuit. This will be involved in, uh, in this, a rectifier, an output tube, and um, preamp uh, tube. Okay, and driver. So uh, the circuit will look like this, uh, looked from the behind. So yes, uh, this will be the input jack, this will be the output transformer, this will be the power transformer, and uh, we will see the tubes. Uh, yeah, the output transformer, the transformer close up porn, yeah, for transformer and uh, speaker enthusiast. And this is the point to point wiring uh, that is involved in this and a lot of people are fan of this point to point wiring nothing wrong with that this is a pristine uh, how it looked at that time when it was manufactured this was way when this amplifier and this is today yeah this is today just one little i see that's great great guys this is where we are so back to the radio stuff and let's see the radio it's a potent ic from what i saw that uh, number uh, c9615 okay really difficult to find uh, is like these are the ic's and this is the modern uh, you saw the the vintage stuff yeah and this is the modern, uh, the modern stuff with amplifier and radio in one. And the progress is fantastic and we appreciate it. And, um, and this is what, um, what we have. Two ICs and some miscellaneous around, like resistors, capacitors, uh, batteries and stuff like that. Yeah, so the radio I see, it's C9615 equivalent pin to pin and the copy i think uh, not so good as the 4825 from silicon labs so we will uh, look at the data sheets and schematics and descriptions uh, for the radio as we did with the audio amplifier and now let's go back to the screen capture and see see the data sheet so um, it's a worldwide band FM support, 64109, worldwide AM band support, shortwave band support, uh, shortwave, all the bands. I don't know if it has gaps. It's interesting to see if it has gaps for the shortwave. Even this uh, radio is not wired for shortwave. It's hackable. Guys, this radio is hackable. Okay, so we know now that the radio is hackable so we will maybe later it's not a promise but i will try to hack in a shortwave band confirm to the ic schematic and try and see if we can have a shortwave uh, amateur receiver made from this but i think we can make it work and it's worth a try you know it's, uh, i saw that uh, amateur receivers just receivers are really 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 expensive these days i see now so we have a lot of stuff here and this is the um, the, the block diagram of it this is the block diagram and uh, we'll uh, have a look so what we see here this is the pinout hackable guys hackable we could make a good radio of this okay really good really 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 good really good i like it i don't know if it will be the best radio receiver if it will work in any way but that will be a different video we have here the block diagram am antenna fm antenna 
everything in, inside the low noise amplifier, automatic gain control. It has the, uh, the 90 degrees uh, mixer, dual analog converter, digital signal processing, digital audio converter and output. So it's a digital radio with analog control, minimal intervention. We will go for the typical application schematic because I don't think that the radio is different than this. So we will need to have it um, hacked. This has only the AM and FM part. It will need uh, another uh, resistor here to the tuner and maybe it's just short that is not uh, populated or we will see later. This is it. This is the schematic of the radio. What I'm thinking now is with this, this one is to make it in a vintage case, not this plastic uh, bad looking stuff. And we will see what we can do. Let's see if this uh, clone I see is uh, up to the task. So if you ask me, I am in favor of hacking it. So with all this said, thanks for tuning in and thanks again for watching. And if you are not subscribed, Please do so, it helps us a lot. Bye.